what you're seeing there is the comet P17 Holmes and that's actually what it looks like you've got a bright center and a halo around it video cameras having a hard time focusing I've got it on a tripod aimed into the eyepiece of my telescope not the ultimate setup but it's the best I could do and um, the comet has undergone a tremendous brightening Let me adjust the telescope a wee bit there here we go the comet's normally really faint about 17th magnitude which is a lot fainter than the faintest star you can see with the naked eye but something happened it erupted and some gas came out it's being lit up by the Sun and it got a factor of about 400,000 times brighter it's brightened to about magnitude 3 or even brighter which makes it easily visible to the unaided eye and if my microphone is good enough you can actually hear uh, my dog Canis Major there barking in the background um, and uh, this is doesn't happen terribly often this comet has done it before back in 1892 and it's it's going uh, uh, undergoing an outburst again nobody's really sure why maybe it's uh, it's got some ice or something under the surface and it's cracked open and it's pouring out but uh, or it's or it's a piece of it's cracked off maybe although that seems unlikely we'd see that but it's surrounded now by this giant halo of gas and I think through the eyepiece you can't probably see it here but through the eyepiece I think there's actually a hint of a tail which would be unusual for a comet this far from the Sun and of course as it's moving I have to adjust the telescope but as I adjust the telescope then I have to adjust the camera and this is probably gonna mess everything up but I'll give it a shot move this up a little bit Uh oh <laughs> we can edit this out later right right yeah um, so I'm doing the best I can I tried taking some still pictures and I'll I'll put those up on the blog too they don't look so good but there you go that's a, oh that's a good shot right there look at that Wow I don't know if I'd call this a once-in-a-lifetime event but this doesn't happen very often that you can look up and see a comet especially one that you had no prayer of seeing with your own eye just two days ago this thing's been an outburst for just a little over a day as I'm taking this it's October 25th uh, in mountain time it's like nine o'clock and uh, it's it's you can look up and see it it's near Mirfak in Perseus and uh, the constellation Cassiopeia and it's it's pretty cool that you can just look up and see a comet uh, I think that's amazing 